From its cheap and tacky design to its ugly screen, the HTC Desire 626S is one of the least desirable Android smartphones that I have ever seen. As if just owning one of these things wasn't punishment enough, you're hit with another stumbling block if you try to reset the device while it has a Google account on it. If you are one of the unfortunate few who actually own one of these things and are unlucky enough to also be locked out, today's video is going to demonstrate how to fix the problem. So, bring out your favorite micro USB cable, scroll down to the video description and download the software, and meet me on the other side of the title card as we cover how to disable FRP on the HTC Desire 626S. After you've installed the drivers and software, go ahead and connect the phone to the computer. After you've connected the phone, go ahead and stop at the emergency call screen. And once the computer recognizes it, you'll see this message here. Just check the box, press OK. And this will enable USB debugging on the phone. After you've done that, go ahead and enter devices into the box there. And if it says device, then you're good. And you can move on to the next step. And you can copy and paste these if you don't want to type them all in but the next command is shell net CFG. And finally, the last command was pretty long, so you'll definitely want to copy and paste that to make sure you get everything right. Once it says command finished, come back down here to the phone, and it'll still be on the setup wizard. Just go ahead and press restart. And the next time it boots up, it'll actually skip right by the setup wizard and it will take you straight to the launcher. Factory reset protection will be off and you will be able to use the phone as normal. And that's all there is to it. If you followed the steps correctly, you should have disabled FRP on your HTC Desire 626S. And with that, I thank you for watching the all new Channel 2012.